Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored. And share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, social media right now is on fire, y'all, as new FBI documents have dropped concerning a whole bunch of Chicago incidents. With, of course, King Vaughn's name being in the forefront in the mix as always, right? But not only that, new shocking documents that have dropped concerning Oblock not only expose that Kenny Mac may have got Duck's location from THFTZ, but then it's also alleged in the documents that Lil Dirk and his brother Money Making D Thing, rest in peace, may have had some involvement in the case as well, as they are identifying Dirk to be a heavy ranking black disciple. Now, all of this is interesting because upon all the new information that's coming out, we've seen new mugshots of Muwap. They're alleging that FBG Butter may have snitched on what happened the day his sister K.I. lost her life. And on top of all that, they're saying that King Vaughn was the one that fired the fatal shots that drilled Gakara K.I. Bonds. So in the midst of all this, Lil Durk decided to respond to his name being mentioned in all the charades and he had something interesting to say to people implementing his name in this case. Now we already covered the leaked text messages between Kenny Mac, so if y'all want, y'all could go check that out. And after this video, we'll be dropping more videos as we keep you guys updated because we have a little more information, thanks to Mickey Truth, about Los Smunner and him retracting his statements concerning the case. So make sure y'all stay tuned, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to keep us in the algorithm so we can get these videos out to everybody as well as subscribe. Now let's start at the new document that dropped last night involving Lil Durk and his brother d -Day. Now the alleged FBI document stated, quote, Turpin asked someone that he was speaking to on the phone what's d thing number and went on to tell a person to whom Turpin was speaking to have d thing called Turpin. Multiple witnesses are expected to testify that D Thing is Dante Banks Jr., the older brother of Individual E, aka Little Dirk. Multiple witnesses will testify that Individual E is a high ranking black disciple and at times material to the superseding indictment was and is part of a black disciple faction allied with O Block Lamron. Now, first and foremost, I never even knew. <laughs> That Lil Dirk was considered high ranking. You know, yeah, I knew he was a BD, of course. But last time I checked, when you high ranking, you supposed to have did something to make you high ranking, right? But never mind. I guess money would get you wherever, including in gangs as well. But I see in comments on social media of people saying, it don't say Lil Dirk was a part of the case. It don't say Lil Dirk did anything concerning FBG Duck. But this is why reading is fundamental, y'all. They didn't mention just outright that he had something to do with it, but they clearly said, quote, multiple witnesses will testify that individual E, a.k.a. Dirk, is a high-ranking black disciple and at times a material to the superseding indictment. I repeat, at times a material to the superseding indictment. Meaning, at times he did participate in the current indictment, which is the old block indictment, whether he provided money, weapons, cars, anything. And it's not hard to prove that because if you listen to a couple of Dirk songs, you can hear the man telling you he bought strikers, which is cars to carry out certain things, if you know, you know, and also bought weapons and handed them out to the hood. You know, so before y'all sit here and say, oh, who could you say it too much, whatever, just go listen to a song or two and, you know, these guys will tell you themselves. These guys love being self-incriminating and the next thing you know, they tell you that somebody else is snitching on them or saying too much, but it is what it is. Now, another part where we need to focus on is the fact that they said that there's multiple 
witnesses. Not just one, not just two. Multiple is considered three or more and the information that they seem to have already along with the text messages is clear that somebody close within the circle is talking. We don't know who yet, but someone is telling law enforcement everything they know, y'all. But what do you expect, right? I wouldn't be surprised if it's someone a part of the five O Block members because Muwap is the only one currently with a paid lawyer to our knowledge. The last we heard, Muwap had a paid attorney and the rest of them had public defenders. So how are y'all trying to fight a homicide as big as this one with evidence against you with a public defender? <laughs> you know what they, what they say in, in Atlanta, where they do that at? You know, and you playing against the feds nonetheless, in which they pick the case up from the state. So that lets you know that they already have more than enough evidence or they feel they have more than enough evidence to get a conviction or whatever they plan on doing. They just waiting it out. We know that the FBI always have the best results. We know that they just they 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 the master at patience. You know how they play, and I keep telling y'all. They have about 98 to 99% of a conviction rate. They always come correct. So a public defender going against that is just not going to cut it. But anyway, let's get into what Lil Durk had to say about his name being mentioned in all the new alleged FBI documents floating around. Lil Durk will respond to an Instagram post on international drill music saying, quote, we about the kids and family. Don't fall into the blogger ish or YouTube ish. That's really the feds turning everybody against each other. All right. Now, to be real with y'all, he actually does have a point. I personally feel a lot of things that be put on the Internet is planted on there to get a response out of people. And it do create destruction and confusion amongst us at times. And sometimes we find out that these things don't even be real or it's just false. However, it's hard for him to convince us that this is all fake. When in the past, we've seen these same documents come out online and everything it ended up saying ended up coming to pass. When it came out before that an old block indictment was coming and the feds was in and out of old block at that one time and they tried to tell us it was false, guess what ended up happening? The infamous old block five was indeed locked up for Duck's murder. Then they told us that an informant told them King Vaughn was behind the chaos situation. Next thing you know, now they're claiming that he actually was. So it's hard for him to sit there and convince people not to pay attention to the blogs on YouTube. And not only that, but I find it funny how when the blogs and YouTubers are saying things that's in these guys' favor, it's okay. You know, they, they, they glorifying it or they letting it rock. But the minute we say anything left about these guys or something that they don't agree with, then suddenly we lying or try to make people go against each other. Ain't that ironic? But it is what it is. Now, in a nutshell, y'all, when it comes to Lil Dirk having involvement in Duck's case, to be honest with you 100%, we can't say yes, but we can't say no. Only thing we can say is that a lot of these things are starting to be revealed, and with all these informants that they seem to have, I'm sure the truth will definitely reveal itself at some point in time, rather sooner than later. Not only that, but I've said this from the beginning and I'm going to say it again. If you pay attention to what a RICO actually is, a RICO is an acronym for Racketeer Influenced Criminal Organization. In simpler terms, it was a law specially targeting the mob that punished crime bosses who ordered their subordinates to carry out criminal activities for them. So when I see that five O Block members were arrested for the homicide of FBG Duck, but I know that they were just the soldiers. The next question I have is, who's the boss? Y'all following me? Every RICO involves the people that carried out the, crim uh, the crime, but also the boss behind those criminals who ordered them to carry out the crimes. So in this case, who's considered the boss? We know the soldiers, but who is the boss? Where is the boss? In the YSL case, you had Young Thug and another individual that they labeled as the boss. So in this case, who is the boss? All right. Then on top of that, in every Rico case, someone is labeled the person who funded the criminal organization, right? Because you know that Rico is the racketeer influenced criminal organization. 
So usually there's always someone who was labeled the person who funded the criminal organization. Right? Follow me. So in this case, who are they labeling the individual that funded this criminal organization known as Oblock when it comes to this Rico case? Y'all follow me? You know, like I could keep going, but anyway, I want to save some things for the next videos that we have dropping after this one. So make sure y'all stay tuned as well. Nine times out of ten, like they did with everything else, they're gonna try to put everything on King Vaughn. But let's just stay tuned because we on to them. All right. Um, a lot of things are starting to be exposed as information is coming out. Like I said, y'all stay tuned because we're going to continue to update you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.